There's a major scare right here in New York City this morning. As suspicious packages, multiple suspicious packages have been found in two different locations in Manhattan. Sources say police have evacuated a very busy tra transit station after two rice cookers were discovered inside of the Fulton Street subway complex. By the way, that is huge. That is in lower Manhattan. It is right near the tip of Manhattan. It has just been renovated. It is massive. Thousands and thousands of commuters go through there every morning to get to work. The third device was discovered near a garbage can. A bomb squad has since deemed at least two of those three devices safe, meaning they're not armed with explosives. Off in the distance, you might be able to see what is actually the subway stop that was evacuated earlier this morning. It was at about 7.30 uh, East Coast time when investigators uh, got that call about two suspicious items in the subway complex itself. Upon a closer look, they were able to determine that they were not uh, pressure cookers, as they were initially told, but they were, in fact, rice cookers. Uh, the bomb squad taking a closer look at that in just a few moments, determining that they were not explosive. So now the, the main focus may perhaps shift just north of where we are uh, in the Chelsea neighborhood, where a third rice cooker that's very similar to the photograph that was tweeted uh, by New York City police officials earlier this morning is now being investigated. Again, that is well north of where we are. Here, though, uh, in downtown New York, that's certainly causing quite a scare this morning. Before, those devices were determined to be not explosive. There were various subway trains that had to be evacuated. I was speaking to some construction crews that had to be asked to be uh, to evacuated off their scaffolding not, not, not long after uh, we arrived here. So really just give you a sense of what it was like for a Friday morning. It was extremely busy for authorities as they were investigating these two devices. And now it seems that some of the employees that work just beyond the police lines are actually being allowed in. So it could be a matter of time before this scene is clear. But as we mentioned at the top, Poppy, the focus now uh, turns to that uh, third rice cooker that was located, uh, I'm told, at 16th Street and 7th Avenue a th okay. near a garbage can investigated by police there. Poppy, back to you. Okay. All right, Polo, great reporting. Um, be before you go... I mean, I used to live right down by there. That is one of the busiest transit hubs in all of New York City. Can you just give me a sense of how New Yorkers are feeling this morning? What are they saying as they were evacuated? Uh, f they are frustrated more than anything. As having spoken to many of them, Poppy, it really was, uh, th there was really no sense of chaos. There was no uh, sense of panic, but it was really just people were trying to get to work. Uh, it certainly does speak to many of the people down here that they were more focused about getting to work uh, early this morning and, and speaking to police officials to try to get there in the morning. And so I think that's what we're seeing right now. Uh, just off camera here, I'm seeing dozens of people who are still watching and waiting for hopefully these police lines to be taken down so they can get to work this morning. Okay, Polo, thank you very much. We appreciate you being there.